Hi guys, this is Ptash and this is Combat Guide for Dwarf Fortress. First of all, I'd like to explain that I've started my um, mini series of, of guide videos for adventure mode for um, Dwarf Fortress, but I uh, abruptly ended it and well, it's just, you know, life. Um, I didn't really felt like uh, doing uh, these uh, scripted sort of so-so scripted, let's say, uh, videos. Um, for whatever reason, really, I just wasn't feeling it. But since the adventure mode is uh, coming um, close, uh, you know, I've decided that I would just record a video about combat because it's very important in, in adventure mode. And I wish to pass that knowledge even without like huge script or, or huge editing. And uh, so this video will be sort of like mostly improvisation, but I, I feel like I still can um, teach a lot of people uh, who are just starting with adventure mode. So, so let's begin. I've made a character which is now loading and I've met uh, a bunch of monks. I, I don't know if it's this if this is some kind of they are standing like they they have some ritual. I, I don't know what is happening here really. And um, this um, character has um, almost legendary copper spear. I will talk about that in a moment. Too. But before we start the proper guide, I just want to I just want to give you an advice to watch my previous videos because um, I think that the one when I create my character is quite important because I talk about attributes and movement video is, is entirely also about combat really because um, combat is a lot about you know movement and combat is uh, like entirely almost about movement too so these are very important videos i will shortly cover these aspects here as well but yeah i know that it might sound boring like a video about movement but you have climbing here you have jumping so you can you can jump into someone to damage them uh, if they are for some reason unable to dodge you this will result in heavy damage uh, okay, so let's start. And the first thing I would like to talk about is attributes. I've already talked about it, but quick reminder. When you are creating your character for a start, uh, you likely are going to pick Demigod and I advise that as well. Uh, because he starts with uh, the the biggest um, starting you know attributes and that also means in in adventure mode that the um, cap of the highest possible um, attribute for that character is also the highest. So if you start as peasant, uh, you can't be, you can't have, let's say, superhuman strength. I don't know if you can't, but imagine that you can't. You, okay. And when you start with demigod, you can. So it actually also is like the 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 roof is also higher. So uh, demigod is just simply uh, an easy mode and yeah, I definitely recommend it for beginners. So you have to choose uh, attributes there and I advise getting as much, maybe not as much as possible, but a lot of, uh, especially endurance. Endurance in combat is um, the most important stat, like strength and agility doesn't really do much if you are tired the moment you are tired in combat you are going to die because when you are tired you won't be able to dodge in time uh, you won't be able to hit any attack so yeah that's that's the more most important stuff then we have also um skills and um here you need to know that it's important to know the difference uh, between fighter skill and spearman for example so uh, where you have fighter skill it affects uh, all fighting wrestling um, fighting with a weapon uh, with fists uh, it it affects yeah i think i i talked about all uh, like striking kicking as well but it affects uh, these all um, abilities to sort of a limited extent it's like less effect than Expert fighter will be weaker than expert spearman who holds a spear, right? And this expert spearman might be weaker fighter. But generally, you you want both to be high because if you even if you are a master spearman, if you are novice fighter, I don't know the enemy can hit your hand and you won't be able to grasp your spear, and then you are dead. So 
uh, yeah, you want both to be almost equal. That, that's the best case. Of course, if you didn't watch uh, previous videos, um, then it's important to say that um, skills level up by using them. So don't worry that you somehow uh, chose not enough. I forgot about one more thing. So um, what skills affect? So they affect your chance to hit generally. Um, does it affect uh, how much, how hard you uh, hit? I don't know. I think not. I think that strength um, matters here, but I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't dig uh, so deep into that. So I, I don't know. But generally, I'm sure that it's chance to hit. And it's what we want, because in Dwarf Fortress, it's important that you hit someone and not how hard you hit. I, I mean, it's important how hard you hit. Um, but in only certain scenarios, if you are fighting some gigantic uh, monsters, then yes, it's it's important how hard you hit. Although only if you want to one shot them, let's say, uh, because if you want to just um, if you don't care how, how long it will take you, then it's not that much important how hard you hit. Another thing is that I will cover in this guide only melee weapons. Maybe I will just a bit talk about like um, ranged in, in a sense of throwing, but I feel like personally I never used bows or, of, or crossbows, so I just don't know. And it seems to me that even if I did, there wouldn't be so much to talk about because it's fairly simple, right? You aim at someone and you shoot and either you you hit the target or not. So there's that. Okay, because I'm talking, talking and talking and you might be bored at this point. I still plan to talk because there is so much knowledge to have about um, fighting that, yeah, I sadly have to. You, you need to know certain things, okay? Uh, and then I will be uh, fighting. But fighting won't be something, you know, um, extraordinary, let's say. Because if you know everything what I said, it will be like just doing certain tasks. So uh, don't think that you are missing out on, on some epic fights here uh, later in the video, okay? So we have weapons now. I would like to talk about weapons. I will talk um, about different types of weapons later in the video when it comes to like types of damage. So slashing, stabbing and uh, blunt damage. They have their own characteristics, but I just wanted to talk like about physical weapons. So uh, as you can see, I have a copper spear and it has this like, um, you know, it has this like, description it's masterful it has this like you know stars around it and this affects also chance to hit so if you want to have an um, easy start in your journey you raise the quality of of your weapon and that raises the chance to hit the material from which uh, the um, uh, weapon was made is also important generally uh, steel is the best weapon but I don't remember at this point what is exactly slightly better than the other. For blunt weapons, different materials that are he heavier, mm, these are the best, right? For slashing, different are the best, usually steel. And yes, that's another video, I guess. I think that you just don't want to use uh, wood weapons and you are um, okay for, for a start. We can dive deeper into that. Mm, maybe in another video. Okay, so we covered equipment, attributes, and you know, a lot of important stuff, I feel like. So we are getting closer to uh, talking about real uh, scenarios of fights, but we have to cover something very important, two important things, which is speed. And I covered that in a movement video, but I will cover that now in the context of fighting. And then I would like to talk about sneaking, because it's also uh, very important in some scenarios. Maybe in, not in some, it just depends if you want to use sneaking or not. What is speed? It's I don't know the exact numbers, but first of all, you have two keybinds mm, on your keyboard. First is dot and it moves time forward um, by 10 instants. Let's imagine that one instant is like a second in Dwarf Fortress. So uh, a dot is like 10 seconds, let's imagine. So I pressed a dot and as you can see, they were talking and stuff, right? And let's 
assume that my speed of one uh, means that I move here from here to here in 10 seconds. It's a lot. I'm quite slow. I know. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's just for the purpose of this video for understanding. I don't know what real numbers are. If it's like one second and like dot is one second, maybe and comma comma is one instant. So dot is 10 instants and comma is only one. You can see that during that one instant, they are ta talking much less. And now when I press um, dot, suddenly they talk more because more time passed. This is so crucial for combat because now you can imagine when I have speed one, it's like 10 seconds, right? Uh, it's actually a bit stupid. Maybe I should change that, but they wouldn't be talking so much in one second. So it's quite, quite weird. I won't use seconds because I, I might um, introduce more confusion than uh, it's needed. Let's just ke keep two instants. Uh, so 10 instants, let's assume that my character needs 10 instants to move from um, this place to this place, which is the same when I press my dot and just do nothing and stand still. Uh, like looking at this it's, it's, it seems to be true. Now, when I press comma, you can see that it's much less time passed. It's like only one instant and not 10. So what happens when I, for example, lie on the ground? My speed became 0.3. And that means that it takes me how much of instants to move from one tile to another? I would say it's like, I don't know how to actually calculate it. I'm 66% slower. So it means that if it was 10 instants before, now it will be 10 times 1.6, almost seven, right? So 17 almost instants to move from this spot to this spot. Look how much talking there will be. What? I think there was so much talking. Yeah. Look at that, how much talking passes when, when I try to move. It doesn't e even fit. I don't know why, why there weren't talking before, but you can see that so much time passes. And this all translates to combat, which means that uh, when enemy is, for example, mm, doing this move with a sword, Let's say it takes like five instants or maybe 10 too. If I move at the speed of 10 instants, uh, at the speed, like the basic uh, speed, I might be able to dodge that. But uh, if I lie on the ground, um, I'm much slower and his attack will be much faster than my dodging, which means that I won't dodge this. And what does it mean? Uh, basically, when you are hit in the leg during combat and you fall on the ground uh, and can't go up, uh, you are basically dead. There are also cases where you trip over something or, or just, you know, lose, lose your balance and you fall during combat, even though your legs uh, are, are working. These are very, very difficult and uh, dangerous situations because suddenly all your um, enemies are much faster than you. Maybe like even 30 instants to, to move from one spot to another. It would sound, it would be like it, right? So the enemies are just, yeah, more than two times your speed, uh, almost three times your speed, maybe not even almost three times your speed. So you can see how, how dangerous it is. Sorry for this poor math uh, of me, um, but yeah. You generally get the idea and that's the most important thing. Oh, sadly, I, I just made them lose that perfect formation. I don't know what they are doing here. Let's let's ask them. Grit. Um, why are you traveling? They are just out of our astral. I don't believe that at all. So yeah, guys, that is why I also often when I have a character which has a lot of endurance, I also choose jog. Um, that's because it also affects your fighting, not only speed at which you move. I don't think um, it makes your stab or slash faster, um, but 
it definitely makes you faster to react to enemy, for example, attacks. So um, you can dodge more, you can avoid uh, stuff uh, better. So it's when you fight, generally you go for jog because jog doesn't really make you tire that much uh, faster. And when you start to tire, you just uh, get walk again. And so, yeah, this is important. It's important to remember that when you lose your leg or uh, ability to stand, um, you you hope you uh, you you assume a submissive posture if the enemy is is generally equal to you and hope he won't kill you. Um, if if he doesn't stop, then you have options, but that's very advanced how to get out of that, and it's generally very. Uh, difficult but if the enemy is weak and he he got lucky and hit you in the leg or something uh, you should be fine and just keep fighting as you as you would now i want to cover and we are getting closer and, and closer to to like real right fights i'd like to cover uh, types of um, weapons and let's start with a spear i have here mm, so I have a legendary or a master full spear. Yeah, this is stabbing. So uh, stabbing is a type of damage that is generally very good for beginners. I, I feel like because it's somewhat easy to hit someone and it's very important in Dwarf Fortress to even uh, hit someone because it's difficult to hit someone. Someone who is capable of fighting and, and so on. If you are both uh, both <clears throat> like master master warriors let's say and the fight will look like you just dodge yourself and no one is getting hit until one person gets hit and that usually means that they that usually snowballs you know so uh, getting someone hit is very difficult and that's why um, yeah copper spear is generally good or spear in general stabbing weapons because it's quite easy to to hit someone but uh, stabbing weapons have this disadvantage that you can't really one shot your enemy um i don't know if you could like tear the brain with one hit in the head it i don't think it ever happened to me and uh, so with spear you just have to stop stop and stop until the enemy you choose how they die right you can stop in the lungs and they suffocate uh, you can make them bleed out, but with sword or uh, with uh, whip or with blunt weapon, like with sword, you can just cu cut their head off and it's like instant death, mm, especially from sneaking. It's very effective, right? But generally swords outside of that aren't that powerful. It's it's hard to hit someone. And even if you slash someone, the damage can be minimal. It can be a bruise or or just you you cut the skin and what 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 now nothing really happens right um blunt weapon is is a bit better because you can also instantly kill someone like with a sword you just crush the skull and when you crush the skull um, brain is also crushed and when brain is crushed it means instant death in war fortress uh, so you can just you know use a hammer to to the head and um, you also instantly kill some enemy but if you hit something else, it's also good because you can crush uh, bones. Uh, and I think that there was some article on the wiki of Dwarf Fortress Adventure mode that the best overall, like overall best weapon weapon was some uh, steel mace or something like that, because it, it just was so good in every aspect, basically. Yeah, because with blunt weapon, you can you can crush bones. And if I'm if I remember correctly, I think that um, broken bone or crushed bone making making enemies unconscious from pain. Um, uh, it's like status, like someone gives up from pain because it's very painful. Uh, so, um, yeah. And when someone gives in to pain, uh, they just are helpless. They, they don't um, fight back and they don't try to, to avoid your hits so you can just do whatever to them at this point um so with stabbing weapons the best uh, option is to actually hit the leg and make the opponent fa fall and when the opponent falls they are at your mercy like you can do whatever to them unless they are very very strong opponents right mm, who, who you luckily managed to to hit in the leg uh, hard so yeah 
let's maybe try this and I wonder if all will uh, try to um, uh, you know uh, attack me so I have a copper spear so I will use that tactic so I will try to hit his um, lower leg I think uh, N looks uh, fairly solid too so it's good choice if you are fighting experienced enemy like um, above you even in skill you want to use quick attack to even hit that enemy because you will have trouble hitting them uh, but uh, here I, I will just use normal and uh, these other options are rarely used to be fair a uh, heavy attack is usually when you sneak and someone is not going to move and then you just you know hit harder without losing like accuracy as you can see i have also other options but let's just you know uh, stab him and as you can see it's successful he wasn't ex expecting the attack so i hit him and uh, yeah this is it another thing a cool thing about speed uh, is that you can wait one instant with a comma to sort of wait for a better opportunity to strike so uh, as you can see here uh, oh he has yelled it and uh, no i will still attack um as you can see here yeah these are quite good uh, um, as you can see hits to to choose from um lower lower body uh, again leg but let's say i don't like these options i wait for one instant nothing really changed right in the world it it is like a moment but here everything changed so actually it was for the worse and uh, this time but if i had it like that and yeah that's ba bad i think um oh also you can obviously uh, you know swap here pages because you can hit him in like uh, left eyelid let's try mm, nothing really changed uh, happened to him okay so they didn't really attack me but but as you can see look how slow this this enemy is he, he tries to run away from me but he's he's so slow and it's often the case right you attack someone and they don't want to fight so they run away if you don't attack them in the leg they will just run away from you they will be so fast it will be yeah um, hard oh and he now beca became enraged which means he should be attacking me no matter what he, he for some reason he does not he, he still tries to run away okay so i uh, as you can see that this is quite easy i can make tracking visible but all right this is quite easy with spear if you manage to hit someone in the leg you can just you know finish them and if you want don't, you don't always have to you know um you just move at the the direction and the game automatically will um uh, will attack the enemy that is in your way so we don't have to choose here and it's how you uh, quickly you know can kill uh, an enemy uh, another thing is that from trying to crawl away from me and trying to you know avoid death he got exhausted uh, so he passed out from exhaustion what and uh, not this oh i i hit his left lung so he will probably um suffocate and bleeding should be should be fine he should you know um, recover from bleeding um generally stabs i don't think they cause so much bleeding to to quickly make someone bleed out uh, but he is overexert so he passed out from overexertion right uh, and he's li lying de there in a pile of vomit so he's not doing good generally i should have been not stabbing him maybe i will talk to him and ask him uh, let us stop this pointless fighting and let's let's see uh, what will happen he said something i will fight no more he regains consciousness oh so we are f we are friends now I think he will recover you know i think he will be fine we can check out on him but his lung has to has to you know um heal 
but his right lung is still you know, okay, which means I, I don't think he will suffocate. So we are merciful. Is this an attack? What's going on? So when it comes to slashing weapons and um, blunt weapons, it's just that you, you can do whatever. I, I could hit him in the head and uh, his head would probably f fall off, you know, if I had a sword with like proper skill uh, or he would die instantly with, uh, you know, hammer. Oh, so his one lung d d wasn't enough, you know, so sadly he passed out. Mm, if I carefully, you know, uh, hit him, it would be probably better. What we have here? I don't even know what is there. Mm. I will now travel to find the enemies, you know, in order to find enemies, you travel uh, over the world like that. Oh, I can't really go there for some reason. And you have this, you know, this stuff here. And this usually indicates an enemy. Usually, not always. I get drowsy. Okay, I have to sleep, sadly. Okay, and you wake up on the ground, so make sure to get up quickly. Ah, but there is water close here. There is morning, so it might be frozen though. Yeah, I discovered a river. Where is that river, guys? Okay. Let's fill the water. I pressed my caps lock by mistake. And let's eat the water. Okay, let's fill it again. And that's it. All right. Um, we have some enemy here. Let's try and get him. Oh, it's sometimes hard to find a, an enemy w which will fight back. What is that? It's a castle and castles should have some fighters. It's hard to get. Yes, this is the entrance. It's hard to spot the entrance, but this should be quite decent place to fight with someone. Let me see who looks here. Oh, I have some warrior here already. Uh, it's me. And but here we have swordsman. Yes. Let's quickly attack him. Uh, yes. Uh, in the neck and I will punch him. Oh my. That's good. So what he did? Mm. I think that Lasher and Swordsman attacked me. Let's see. You strike the, the broad Swordsman, but the shot is blocked with the iron shield. Uh, bites, he bites me in the finger. It's fine. A Lasher lashes you ooh, with the leg. On the leg, into the leg. In the leg. Chip in the bone. Am I on the ground? No. Thankfully, he didn't chip my bone enough. I forgot to talk, uh, uh, to talk about uh, lashers and about whips because whips are very dangerous weapons and very good too. And they can get through like any material and like strike the brain, for example, uh, if you hit hard. Very, very dangerous weapons. In, certain, in scenarios like that, when I'm overwhelmed and you are too injured to jump, this is what I usually do where, where I'm in a situation where, where a bunch of enemies is attacking me. I just jump away um, to gain as much distance away from them. Now I'm in a not good situation. So I'm standing here. Here is the cup bearer that also wants to attack me. And there are two uh, enemies. I have a high chance of dying here because I will try to move um, down, but they are both recovering from attacking me. So this is a chance that they won't uh, attack me again uh, when I go down here. So it's actually quite, quite decent. I will try to run down. Okay, I broke the grip of the bite of the swordsman and they try to 
I fell, I fell down. You fell over. Hmm. That's not good. I should yield at this point. I can't stand up. And uh, let's 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 yield. Yes, they they agreed to my yield. Damn, I mean, I was dead if I didn't yield, guys, because the lasher instantly hit my leg, and I'm just crawling there. Another thing is that when you have a lot of um, about speed, uh, it's actually you sometimes visit towns and stuff which are fully like packed with with so many people that the game simply takes so long to move. And when you sprint, the game actually has you know higher FPS because each um, of your move takes less calculation. So that's that's also cool. Okay, so I think I'm I will recover from that, but. I need to sleep. By the way, you can also crawl faster, right? But it takes you a lot of... of uh, if you have no other cho choice than to fight on, you usually use like fa faster crawl and you have somewhat the speed of, of, of a person who is standing. So there's that. I will sleep for eight hours and I should be okay. My bone should heal. Yes, so it's fine now. I will have my revenge, won't I? I think I will. I'm sneaking. Is this the lasher? I think he is the one. Oh, damn, that's not looking too good to him. All right. I just checked if I have a spear in my hand. Let's attack his leg. Oh, he's a fighter. I think he has armor because he... Oh, he's already on the ground, so obviously he doesn't fall when I attack. But it weir it's weird to me how they don't wake up. I think they w were waking up, usually. Okay, he already has a spine destroyed, so I think that's enough. Upper spine damaged. Oh, it's only a bruise, so he will heal. And yeah, guys, I just want to go back at the topic of, of combat. Why I even searched for an enemy that would, you know, fight me uh, back? Uh, it's because I wanted to tell you that you don't have to manually dodge in the game. Uh, the, the game does certain actions automatically. When you move towards an enemy, the game will automatically uh, attack the enemy. I'm super thirsty. Uh, it's the same for um, blocking and like parrying and dodging. So you don't have to manually dodge and you rarely do that, you know? Who is that? Oh, an ambush. Perfect. So we have that. Okay. Let's see if I will manage to leave. I wish to not be hungry and, and stuff, but yeah, so I would turn uh, sneaking on in order to see how many enemies there are. The guy is strikes me, but I deflected that. I will obviously try to hit his leg. And he does not, as you can see, it's not as simple as you saw. I try to run a bit from them. And I waited for the enemy to come to me. And maybe I will stab his hand. That's great. So he lost hold of Copper Grace uh, Mace. I um, didn't talk about that, but you can also uh, aim at the hand, especially if you have good strike at the hand. Uh, because enemy loses hold of the weapon, which is which is good. So he's there with uh, uh, lost. Uh, yes, the right wrist is damaged, so he is as good as dead to me. That is one down. Okay, he just got there. I will strike his lower body because it will cause him to vomit and maybe he will exhaust from that. Oh, 
So what happened here? I think that another enemy came to me. No, I didn't even manage to... It's weird. I didn't manage to, to even... Um, okay, so two enemies attacked me. Mm, am I fine? I'm in pain. Okay. I will try to jump away. And we need to run and play safer. Because there are two, three enemies. I have still a lot of coins, so I will just try to... Um, Yes, my pain went away. I'm I'm okay. Uh, I will try to throw some uh, rocks at them. Mm, I I can't pick up rocks. Let's just throw some coins. I can pick them up later. So he strikes you, but I jump away. Mm, yes. So I need to definitely get into the situation when you can't win really. Uh, one versus two or three, unless the enemies are much weaker. So I try <coughs> to put myself into the position where... What? They're very... They are very, very good. Like, holy shit. How how did he hit me from, from so far? This swordsman is especially strong. Mm, okay. I feel like I need to create a scenario where I'm one against one. Mm, he managed to block that with the shield. But he's so fast, like I, I wasn't even near that swordsman. Hmm, I don't have good things to throw at them. If I had like a, a, a mace or a... I should have picked up... Okay, maybe a quick attack here will do something. I definitely need a quick attack. Okay, he jumped away. It's like a dance. How am I doing, by the way? Uh, my school and head, they, they really focus on my head. Uh, thankfully, head isn't that bad unless you get like artery open or uh, brain damage, because this is death, obviously. This will be battle of endurance. I think I have higher endurance than them which means that I will win because they, they chase me for a long time and I think they will get tired first. I know what I could try to do. I could try to run from them and go back to the guys. Oh, this... He's running after me. Is he exhausted at this point? This swordsman is... Is really, really powerful to me. He's not exhausted yet. Okay, it's interesting. Let's try to stab him. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's worth stabbing him, but maybe a quick attack here. So he has armor and he's attacking me with a silver short sword. I'm going to... Uh, oh, I have no dodge? How am, How do I have no dodge like doubling? Uh, I will parry it. He's recovering. I don't know what is O because the DF hack. Right foot. Okay, that's good. I'll try to attack him quickly with... Yes, so he has iron high boots, and this is another disadvantage of the spear. It's, it's you know, um, it's really difficult to to get through armor. Hmm. 
And thankfully, silver short sword I isn't really that that strong. Um, okay, so he he's fully armored. Does it does he have some? He has a shield, loincloth, trousers, chain leggings, mail shield, helm. Holy, like he has. And he has even gauntlets. Yeah, so it's very hard to actually do something to him. He's fully armored and I'm not really. Hmm. But he should be tired at some point. It's good because I effortlessly deflect his his stuff. Uh, I have high parry, so when we are one versus one, I should be winning. Yes, so his rope broke. Upper body can cause damage to lungs and he will suffocate, so that's good. He's definitely faster than his uh, allies, so... Hand! Super! Oh no. What he did? I, I thought that I managed to... He charged at me, collides with me and bounces backwards. So I think nothing really changed, uh, happened to me. Okay, why and how? Oh, I'm slow. Because I'm stunned for a while from the heat uh, I received. Yes, I regained my speed. Okay, he's so annoying. Holy f damn. What happened to me? I have left hand damaged. Thankfully, I have my spear in my right hand. Mm. As, as you can see, against good opponents, these battles can be really long. I just have much weaker gear compared to him too. I have no armor. Oh, good strike at the leg. <sighs> and I died. Yes, so I have damaged spine and I'm on the ground, which means, which means I'm dead. I'm also stunned. Yeah, I just didn't want this to take forever, guys. That's the truth. Because I should have just uh, run... Um, and throw things at him until he's either exhausted or or I luckily uh, throw something at his leg and he, he falls over. Yeah, but now I'm just dead because even if I cr crawl fast, I'm much slower. It shows that I still have copper spear, but... Yes, I parried this, but his uh, allies come here and he's like, you know, his allies come here and I won't be able to defend then. Ah. He has so much armor. If he had no armor, he would be long uh, dead, you know, because it's simply like that. Mm. I still fight. 
Uh, so even when I'm stunned, so it's interesting. He's in the way, so I can't stand up. I would have to go to li uh, left or right. Yeah, and oh, I actually hit him and he lost hold of the shield. But <laughs> now, wait, wait, it's not that bad. Mm. He stabs me in the leg. I already have leg damaged. And I managed to hit him in the right gauntlet. And he lost hold of the shield. And he pulls the, the, the sword that was in my leg. So yeah, that's... But he still holds the sword, so it's not good. Maybe quick stab into, into his belly. Yeah, they are just ganking me at this point. Yeah, if, if it was one on one, I think I would be able to... I can't jump. Hmm... Yeah, I have no way. Uh, another enemy came here. Oh, no. <sighs> All right. That was a good fight, though. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to show you how to deal with them properly in another video. I just wanted to. Yeah, it, w it is already an over an hour of recording and I, I just didn't want it to take forever. Um, that was a, a quite an easy fight, but what I needed to do is to steal some armor from the castle because I, were, uh, I was un ar unarmored and the enemy was fully armored, which was very bad to me. Although I should have been a bit more patient and uh, initially where I let two enemies attack me at once, it was the biggest mistake because if I kept going by just running and uh, taking this guy uh, out for a 1v1. I think that the remaining guys were very easy. It w he was just the, the best equipped uh, guy here. I still put a great fight and the, the guy uh, lost his shield. If I w was a bit more luckier and he lost his, uh, for example, um, sword, maybe I would crawl away somehow and hope that the remaining guys are just weaker. Yeah, I think so, but whatever. This was a guide to combat and that last fight was actually quite good example of how fights go where you are outnumbered and the enemy is of equal skill but better equipment. So th these are things you should do just better a bit than I did. So thanks guys for watching and I hope that I will manage to do more videos about combat in, in Dwarf Fortress or generally more videos from the Dwarf Fortress. Thanks for watching.